They're young, ambitious, and willing to work hard, not what we typically associate with being a so-called carny. The general perception of carnies isn't what you see here. You were close. You got second place. Good job. Of the more than 400 workers operating the rides, games, and food stands at the Queen City X, 130 of them are from South Africa. Me and my boyfriend wanted to travel, and we came across this program that a way to explore a company in South Africa was giving us and we decided to go for it. North American Midway began recruiting from South Africa nine years ago. Over that time, more than a thousand workers have come over to travel with the carnival. The employees that we get from there are exceptional people with very good education and uh, strong moral upbringing. But we play in places such as Regina with low unemployment rates, so it's very hard for us to retain local workers. The Canadian dollar fares well against the South African rand, so this nine-month journey abroad can be a way to save money. Sometimes it's time but it's it's so worth it in the end. I want to start a business at home and then maybe buy a house. This is Bruce Linford's second stint working for the Travelling Amusement Park. I actually want to get my helicopter pilot's license back home so I can get a job anywhere in the world. But in the meantime, he's breaking stereotypes. The South Africans, we dress well, we well educated and some of the people aren't used to expecting that when they go to the fair and that's from years of the past. The show continues throughout Canada and the U.S. before these South Africans head home in November. Kim Smith, Global News.